Rivers. That's where most ancient civilizations were born. China with the Yellow River, India with the Ganges, and the Mediterranean civilizations with the Mediterranean Sea, but it's water nonetheless, and the Persian Empire with the Tigris and Euphrates. After all of them settled down, there was population growth because people domesticated plants and animals. China's population grew to a shocking 54 million, while Rome's grew to a whopping 52 million. So what made empires different from the earlier civilizations? They were way bigger. Like, way bigger. They used metal for weapons. And other stuff. Leaders also began to realize that their growing populations meant for good military conquests. And they touched each other a lot more. <coughs> I mean, sent messages, you know. Confucianism. Actually, there was also Taoism and legalism. But they're just not important, okay? The Greeks were happy, developing science and astrology, arts and philosophy, until Alexander the Great came and messed them up. And then the Romans decided to make a bunch of the Greek stuff their own stuff by calling it different names and then saying, Originality! Persia establishes a stable government and becomes more important than Greece. But also like the Greeks, they get wrecked by Alexander the Great. Okay? And after he died, the Islamic Empire completely took down the Persian Empire. They had a caste system, a social ladder that was pretty much impossible to climb. Buddhism became a major religion in India during the Mauryan Empire. Buddhism. Oh yeah, and they invented zero.